In this lab, we'll learn about electricity and circuitry. We'll learn about voltage, current, and resistance. We'll explore how they're related to each other using Ohm's law. Finally, we'll learn two methods to hook up resistors in a circuit, series and parallel. Electricity is caused by the movement of subatomic particles. In a wire, this particle is the electron. The electron, by convention, has a negative charge. In order for the electron to move, it must experience an attractive force caused by positively charged particles. Furthermore, in most cases, there must be a circuit, a closed loop with oppositely charged poles through which the electron can move. Any flow of electricity has two characteristic properties that can be measured, voltage and current. Voltage is defined as energy per charge, or joules per coulomb. However, the unit that is most often used is the volt. Voltage may be easily understood by making an analogy to a river's current. The voltage is analogous to the energy of the current. In other words, is the river raging or does it gently meander? Current is defined as charge per unit time. It has units of coulombs per second, but the unit most commonly used is the ampere. In our river analogy, current can be thought of as how much water is passing by a given location during a specific time interval. It is, in essence, the flow rate. These quantities in and of themselves are independent of each other. However, once we add a resistive load to our circuit, they become inextricably linked. What is resistance? Resistance opposes electrical flow. In our river analogy, resistance might be thought of as an obstruction in the stream, such as a rock or a narrowing of the stream width. Resistance is caused by many circuit elements, in particular those that draw a load. Resistors, which have no other function than to resist electrical flow, are commonly used to limit current flow. In any given circuit, voltage, current, and resistance are governed by Ohm's law, which states that voltage equals current times resistance, or V equals IR. We will be using this law today for our calculations. Now let's talk about circuits. Electronic circuit diagrams use symbols to represent their various components. You will be using the following symbols today. Battery. Wire. Switch. Resistor. Voltmeter. Ampmeter. We will be connecting resistors in two types of circuits, series and parallel. Both circuits have characteristic properties which will be important when making your calculations. When creating a series circuit, you will connect the resistors to each other in a single file line, one after the other. A series circuit has constant current throughout. Its voltage, however, varies depending upon the resistance over which it is measured. When connecting multiple resistors in series, the total resistance is calculated by adding up the individual resistors. In other words, R total equals R1 plus R2 plus R3, etc. Parallel circuits are connected to all resistors at once. It can be thought of as a single resistor with multiple conduits. These circuits have a constant voltage throughout, and now it is the current that varies with resistance. When calculating the total resistance in a parallel circuit, the reciprocals of the individual resistors add to give the reciprocal of the total resistance. In other words, 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, etc. You've been given a breadboard that has three resistors. The value of the resistors has been indicated on them. However, this value is most often just an estimate. Usually, resistors vary up to 10% in their value. You'll be using Ohm's law to calculate the value of your resistors in both series and parallel circuits. Here's an example of a series circuit that is already hooked up for you. When I connect the switch, you will see you'll get readings on the amp meter and the voltmeter. You'll take these values down and use Ohm's law, as I said earlier, to calculate the value of your resistors. Have fun!